Ken. Hi, I'm good, my friend. How are you? I'm doing all right. How's LA today? Um, cloudy, but don't let the Southern California girl complain about the weather. That would be wrong. That would be wrong. Yeah, that's right. I, I agree. I agree. But you, but you have, but you know, but but LA's gotten a lot of goofy weather the last few months. So, um, so yeah, if, if it's you true. That, you know, you know, hopefully it doesn't. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on your weekend. It's going to be really nice, and uh, that'll be good for grilling because you're the girl, the girl at the grill, a woman after my heart. <laughs> I happen to love to grill. I've won a competition or two, and I tell you that humbly, um, but I'll tell you, I've really worked to master my practice at the grill, and I love the summer season. I have the best grilling tip ever for you. You might think I'm crazy, but it's done by grilling gurus everywhere. Uh-huh. What's that? You're, you're ready? All right. I'm ready. Make sure you sit down. Okay. Mayo, yeah. mayonnaise is magic. Yeah. Re- wow. You don't hear that too often. <laughs> I know, but let me tell you, I brush my ribeye steaks, crazy, my salmon, my chicken breast, my lamb chops, my burger buns, all with a thin coating of mayonnaise before I put them on the grill. Why, you ask? Because it sticks really well to the food versus like, let's say, olive oil that you know drips off and makes for flames. It uh-huh. releases the food from the hot grill grates. For a lot of reasons, chemically, it's an emulsification and the mayonnaise burns off. It's not that you eat it, but it gives you just the best sear and you get this golden caramelization. But mayonnaise also helps those proteins, the steak and the chicken, lock in the moisture so they don't dry out. And I love that it's a clean canvas so you can add chili paste or pesto and you get really fabulous flavor. It is a brilliant grilling trick that's been used by gurus for a really long time, especially with fish on the grill. And I think it's fabulous. If you're not doing it, please, please, please try it. You will be a culinary hero. I will do that. I promise. Okay. Uh, you Good. Know, yeah, and, and, also, and also it will keep, it, it will keep the, the meat from sticking to the grill, right? Oh, and who doesn't want that, right? Because even yeah. the best grillers are always hoping that their grill is seasoned uh, well enough or clean enough at the start of the grilling season. Now, this right. rule can applies to lean proteins very much so. Like my most requested summer recipe is a spinach and feta turkey burger. Mm-hmm. I serve it with a spread of roasted red pepper mayo. And I use Athenos feta, which is the number one feta in America. It's my favorite in the burger. So it adds that like really delicious, creamy, tangy flavor pop. And then I put more on top. Um, I brush the burgers with mayo before I put them on the grill. And then I pile the burgers high. Athenos feta actually comes crumbled or chunk. And I just think it's it's a flavor boost, right? And we're seeing a trend of big, bold flavor for the summer. So, I mean, I use feta in everything. My morning eggs, my tacos on Tuesday. I happen to love it. And, you know, America loves it. Uh, But it is a really wonderful way to sort of up your game, right? Sub out the cheddar or the mozzarella and use Athenos feta instead. Okay, there we go. And and that's uh, that's available in every supermarket. That that it is. Um, As is Fresh Express. You know those bags of salad we love? It's like a kit, too. It has the dressing and the snack crunchies and all the good stuff. Well... Uh May is National Salad Month. So before the end of the month, we have to celebrate. And then also as we get into summer, it's just such a nice, lovely, light, easy meal, right? Take a bag of Fresh Express salad greens and elevate it. It's already fabulous, but you can take it next level. So I use their Twisted Pesto Caesar Chopped Salad that comes with the green leaf lettuce, the iceberg, the garlic brioche croutons, the parm, and this creamy pesto Caesar dressing. And I add cooked rotini or fusilli. I add tomatoes and a handful of walnuts. And you have a summer safe pasta salad. You get all your greens and everybody loves it. And it's a really easy way to take a bag of Fresh Express salad mix to the next level, right? I happen to love their Butter Supreme Crunchy Salad Blend as well. That's like my go-to weeknight salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. Really good. So we've really, really good. So we've got some good recipes. Anything else to share? I I wanted to ask you a question here. What is something that, what's the number one thing that 
people, you know, people at the grill, the, 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 the chefs at the grill, what do they do wrong? What shouldn't they do? Um, they should take another sip of whatever they're drinking before they attempt to flip. Uh, patience, ah. I think, is just the most important thing to keep in mind at the grill, that you really want to get a good sear and good grill marks before you start flipping. And maybe, but I think we've all learned over the years, the biggest problem with great grillers is the poking no poking, no letting juices release. Use paratongs or a good spatula. Wait for the food to release from the grill. That way you'll get char and flavor and caramelization and just try to be as patient as possible. I think that makes for the most impressive grilling genius. Uh -huh. So don't puncture the meat then. No, no, no. Also, I, you know, you asked me for one, but I'll give you three. You know me. Sure, go big or go sure. home. I'll take, um, I'll take you the a, last, bonus, a bonus tip. <laughs> a bonus tip. Um, the last thing is to please let meat rest. And meat, by the way, applies to protein. Chicken, fish, not as much, but definitely red meat and pork and chicken. When you take it off the grill, put it on a platter. If you cut into it right away, all those juices escape. But if you let it chill, or as my son says, chillax. That's the combination of chill and relax, right? Uh -huh. Just yeah. let it chill. As in, take it easy. For a few minutes, all those juices recirculate and you will have such a better steak. You will have juicier chicken breasts for sure. Take a moment to you know, set the rest of the table with fabulous food before you dig in. And you really will do yourself a tremendous service. For the Memorial Day weekend, Ken, and for upcoming 4th of July picnics, I also have this really cool kebab flag that's made with strawberries, marshmallows, and blackberries. And it's like guilt-free, but it's delicious dessert. My son loves to make it, but he loves more to eat it. And I've posted it along with the recipes I shared at dailylounge.com, dailylounge.com, so you can steal them. There, there we go. Okay, so we can have our own grilling masterpiece. And, uh, That's right. And, 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 and think of Jamie while we do it. So. <laughs> I, I, I would love it. And if you want on social, let, show me your creations. Just tag me at Chef Jamie Gwen. Uh, and so we can grill together no matter where you are. There, there we are. Great, great. What's the name of your Saturday radio show? Thank you for asking. It's called Food and Wine with Chef Jamie Gwen, and it's actually heard across the country on uh, almost 100 stations now, Saturdays or Sundays, and then in podcast as well. And um, I talk fabulous food with artisans and authors and celebrity chefs and mixologists and winemakers and my goal is uh, either to make you hungry or satiate your appetite. You pick it. There, there we go. Great, great. And, <laughs> and, and, and a little bit of uh, the backstage radio. Who syndicates your show? Um, I'm um, with a wonderful company called Gab Radio, and I am very grateful to be on stations across the country um, that have been very good to me. I've spent the last 20 years on radio, and like you, I love it. And like you, you put out just really wonderful content and information, and I know that's our shared goal, right, to share passion. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'm truly truly grateful for everyone that listens and right. you know today we have all these beautiful platforms so you don't have to listen live you can go for your morning run any day of the week and pick a podcast right right exactly like like yeah. like yours and mine so like yours and mine and so yeah. thank you for supporting my show i'm very grateful to be a part of yours and I know your loyal listenership appreciates all the hard work you put in. Radio is a passion. There is no doubt. Uh, but if if we do one good thing every day, then we've contributed to someone's life in a good way. That's, that's, that's very true. And also, yeah. uh, it's, it's chefjamiegwen.com on the web, right? It's actually chefjamie.com. Chef and, Chef and on social, chefjamie.com. And on social at chefjamiegwen. We're friends, you Chef and I. Jamie. Right. Like yes, more than, yes, you know, yes, we're, we're right. friends on a platform. Of course. <laughs> there we are. Great. Great. Jamie, always.
always good having you on. Happy Memorial Ken, Day. Thank Happy you. grilling. And, and uh, to we'll you. talk again down the line. Take care. I look forward to it. Thank you so Thanks. much. Happy holidays. You too. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. A really good